All right, CZ16. This has a comics feel to it, so uh, lots of, and I love the skulls that are in here, um, but you've got the boom and the fist, and so you could go almost Halloween with it. You could go very graphic novel-y with it, and there's plenty of, you know, you could do that across all of your nails. There's plenty of room to do that if you wanted to, or with the boom across all of your nails. Down here at the bottom, we've got some stars and some dots, some swirls and some dots. Um, another finial kind of pattern, good for lead lighting or if you want to make your own decals, painting in. Um, different symbols for money around the world. Um, and just uh, hi, oops, yay. Um, very fun, and that would go well with the kind of comic feel as well. I love this. This is Halloween for me with the kitties and the kind of castles. It doesn't have to be, but um, you could use it that way. And of course, the skull among the flowers could be used that way. And the script, just kind of basic flourishes. Uh, um, I guess this is Mona's. I don't know who Mona is, but I'm sure she's awesome. Notice that there's this kind of cool horse deal there. And you could isolate that if, you know, let's say you like Mona a lot, but you're just not into having her on your nails today. There you go. Um, another uh, kind of more geometric design, but that also this has a Christmas feel to me because I guess this feels like holly to me. Um, puppies and maybe bunnies are so cute. Let me get that on actually on camera here. And then some amoeba looking like dot areas. Um, meow booking uh, with the kitty with one eye. Again, I don't know what that is. Um, maybe it's something important or very cool and I'm just not into that particular deal, but let's say you kind of like the alien kitty. You could just get that if you wanted to. Um, the little arrows going together is cool. And a mountainscape that you could, um, again, if you led look, if you wanted to lead light it or paint it in, however you want to do that. All right, CC17. This, um, actually this, with all of the different words and everything in there, goes pretty well with this one from the previous plate. But. Uh, so you got this, wow, this guy's jumping, he's really happy, maybe you're, you want to celebrate something, um, any kind of, now that's interesting to me, stay beautiful with the mustache. See, that just goes to show, I personally tried to hide my mustache. Other people, we want to celebrate the mustache a little bit more, you know, whichever way you want to go with it, there you go, you've got the way to do it. Uh, and you can say so something, anything that you want to do here with these swirls, very, very fun. Um, and then some Jesus thrown in. If you like yourself some Jesus, there you go. Very cool. How, that would be a cool way to make a, um, you know, if you don't want to go for like the more gothic crosses, but you want something a little bit more fun, how cool would that be? Zigzags, and then we've got Das Eisist. I'm not sure if that's something in German. Those of you who can speak, I know Das is. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you guys let me know about that one. And some little faces could go along with all of your little signs there. We've got some beach time. And I love this this chick with the, um, the carrying the coffee mug on her head. That could be my symbol, actually. Me carry. If I had a great big huge cup of coffee to carry through my day, I would do that. Absolutely. All right, some more dots and lines, and I love this chick. She's just cool. She makes me think of like jazz and hanging out in the jazz club, and and here we've got some people maybe celebrating, holding hands. That's awesome. Maybe it's a high five. That could be a, it could kind of be a high five maybe, if you worked it. Sure. Um, oh, what a beautiful silhouette that is, and. For some reason, I just love all of the different kinds of silhouettes. So this is one I don't have. I have lots of curly and flowing hair, so that's awesome. Some music, and then we've got an, kind of a three-quarter or more than a three-quarter silhouette of this lovely lady, um, reverse three-quarter with her hair flowing off like crazy. Um, a little bit of uh, extended play. I'm showing my ignorance here. Dots, easy dot -a cure that you don't have to care if it's lined up perfectly because it's meant to be a little bit janky. So that's my kind of thing right there. And then we've got more with the comic feel. We've got somebody who looks a little bit like Mario um, if he got old and really grumpy and maybe the princess after a few years of marriage. Sure, why not? And then CZ18, um, lots of just some, some lines here for you to play with. So you could do anything you want. I mean, you could go this way. You could just have that on your nails. You could go across that. You could have it go up that way on your nails. So all kinds of things that you can do with that, even though it looks kind of simple and intimidating. Just 
um, you know, just play around, put your nail over. Okay. Could I do this? Could I do that? Or, um, which I try to mention, um, in a lot of my collage videos, chit chat nails had an idea where you take a piece of paper, cut out, um, something the size of your nail, and then just move the hole in the paper over the design and see how things are going to look. All right. And then we've got this it kind of looks like a maze or maybe Tetris things going together. Oh, I love this with the A and the, it's like an old fashioned book plate and some little lines, uh, line design. Um, these are great hearts with the scribbly hearts. I love that. And then we've got um, circles with the different, um, a, almost like a sunrise design inside. 50% off temper. That's my favorite thing. 50% off, 10% off, 25% off. I'm your girl. I'll be in line. Some other lines here, not quite as straight and perfect, but a little bit more if you want more of a whimsical look. I love this here with the different kinds of swirls. So it's not just purely elegant. It has a little bit of fun to it. And then uh, I love the dimensional, um, what makes it look like it's curved. Very pretty. Um, almost like stylized water lilies. Oh, I love these bubbles. Um, cracked paint, stained glass. And then this is very cool with the stars. And best wishes, you know you're going to a wedding or a baby shower or whatever, that would be a great thing to be able to have there on your nail. And then these sort of um, tilted hearts. And that is the last plate. And I want to compare, like I always do, with the standard Conad plate. Um, there are nail comparison charts out there that give the exact dimensions, and I will link one of those for you down below. But just to give you a quick idea, this is the standard Conad size. So you can see that these are bigger. Um, they're about a third again is big. Uh, so if you if you have problems with Conad, if it's not quite as big, these are going to give you a little bit more wiggle room. Okay, I'm back with the stamping test. I used Wet n Wild Black Cream to do my test. Um, so this is plate 13 and you can see here is where I've tested out that portion. Then I tested out that little image right here. Then from this row, I tested the what looks like mistletoe to me. And from this one, I tested the ways. So those look great. And this is plate 14. You can see right here, I tested this little area. And the first time, I didn't get the lines quite right. So I the second time, I stamped it again just to make sure I could get that. I'm always showing you my first attempt unless I did two attempts and then I'll show you the second one. Here is that image and then from the next row I tested the tree image and then from the bottom row I tested this image right here. So you can see those all came out well. Let's take a look at 15. I did this little section right here from the collage portion, stamped beautifully. Then I tested this here with the little heart-shaped leaves, which I love. And then I tested this one with the shoe, came out beautifully. And then I tested this owl. And I have a little tiny problem here, but that was my error. That is not the plate. You can tell from the rest of it that it stamps really well. All right, next we have plate 16. And of course, I couldn't resist trying out that skeleton and not some impressive detail. I'm really impressed actually with how well this image stamps. Usually when you've got big areas like that it can be really difficult to get them to stamp in a nice solid pattern. Um, Mona's horse is gorgeous and then the little arrows there. All right let's take a look at plate 17 went from up here, the good idea section, then right there, then I did um, this random, kind of, I think it might be random, anyway, whatever the words are, then the guys shaking hands, holding hands, high-fiving, whatever that is, and then Grandpa Crazy Mario, right there, or at least that's what I'm calling him. All right, and then our last plate, is 18. I took a little section here. I pressed down a little bit too hard. That's why it's a little bit wonky, but you can see the detail is good there. Then I did the A 
also once again at the very edge it's a little wonky I'm not used to stamping straight down so I'm getting a little bit too much pressure I'm used to rolling over um, then this one here you can see the whole flowers and the outline flowers and then best wishes all right so all of that stamped really well those are my first tries I don't think you'll have any problem with them and again, information is linked below. Still shots of everything, including the stamping test, will be on my blog. Thanks for watching.